Hello, hello, I'm Ryder Boost again, and here to make a short video about Autodesk Revit 2018 that came out in April 2017. This video mainly focuses on installation of Autodesk Revit 2018 and its first run. But before you can actually start with an installation, you do need to get those installation files. You can use Autodesk website autodesk.com or Autodesk Manage account if you are already subscribed to Autodesk. I'm going back to autodesk.com and if I use slash and Revit, I can directly go to Autodesk Revit product page from where I can hit free trial and then I can see a link to try Revit for 30 days. As you see, before you can actually download or start an installation, you need to have Autodesk account. But don't worry, you can do that at any time, meaning that you don't have to be a subscribed customer to Autodesk to do that. So you can create Autodesk account and then sign in, as I'm doing right now, using my regular Autodesk account and also password. Then I can select language, I keep English and I can select in which way I want to download or install my product. There are two main options. First one is a kind of web installation if I hit begin download. But before I do that, I want to point out that you can also download all files first using Download Manager. And this is a recommended way to do it if you want to install a product into multiple machines. So you first download and then start an installation. But if you want to have a kind of quick way, of course you need to have a good internet connection as well, you can also do a web install. Web install means that you download just a small amount of files at first, then you do selections, what you want to install, and during additional installation, all additional files will be also downloaded. In that way, you may reduce the download package size, meaning that you actually don't download things that you don't need to or don't want to install, as simple as that. I use begin download, then I can select country of residence, also I accept terms of license and services, and then I hit continue. I should see that save as dialog appears, and I save my first installation file to my desktop, just hitting save. It's just a small file, it is needed to fire up installation. Once it's downloaded, I can find it on my desktop or directly from my browser. So if I minimize my browser window, I can see that file here as well. So I double click and Autodesk installation starts for Autodesk Revit. But before you can see actual screen, some additional files will be downloaded as well. Then I see a setup screen and at this stage you may not see that anything is happening, but actually it is now downloading some additional files and it varies product by product. It may be somewhere 500 megabytes to one gigabyte and it doesn't include everything yet. So in this stage, actually a kind of base package is downloaded that enables you to select what you want to install. By the way, those files will be downloaded by default to your C drive. So if I go to my Windows Explorer, open up C drive, Autodesk, then I can see WI folder. This folder will get bigger and bigger during this downloading step and at some point in time your setup screen will change. So you just have to wait a bit. Depending on your internet speed it may take a couple of minutes or let's say 10 to 15 minutes. Once the initial installation package is downloaded, you can continue with Autodesk Revit 2018 installation, hitting install button. But actually before I do that, I want to point out that you also have installed tools and utilities. So I do a left click on this button first. I need to agree with license and services agreement. I accept hit next and in here I can actually see some additional components that can be installed with Autodesk Credit. For example, if you plan to use network license, then your server needs 
a network license manager. Also, if you want to get some more information how Autodesk software is used, you may also be interested about Autodesk CAD Manager tools. It's also possible to install a sharing environment called Revit Server. And also, if you are a developer, you can install Revit Software Development Kit. I'm not gonna install any of those components, meaning that I hit pack button, pack again, and continue with installation. But uh, before I hit on install, I want to point out that down below you have grayed out items like installation help, system requirements and read map. Please do open up those links to get some information what are the minimum requirements from your hardware and software point of view before you actually start an installation. Right now I'm secure enough so I click install. I need to read license and services agreement and accept those. I accept and hit next. I may get a notification out of disk space, but mainly it's because there are so many different components selected. That is why I can see huge amount of disk space requirement. I hit OK and in this screen I can actually deselect what I don't want to install or from the other point of view, I can select what I do need. For example, of course, my main interest is Autodesk Revit 2018. If I do a left click on this row, I can again see a warning. I hit OK and I can select what components I want to select or deselect. For example, some of you may have used Autodesk Formit. It's a kind of SketchUp tool and it will include add-in for your Revit so that you can open up and share data between Autodesk Formit and Autodesk Revit. If you are planning some fabrication workflows, then you may want to install Autodesk Revit MEP fabrication configuration. I deselect Imperial. I do want to have a desktop shortcut. I also want to install all disciplines, meaning that architecture, construction, as well as MEP, meaning mechanical, electrical and plumbing, as well as structure. If you are sure enough that you don't need all those additional disciplines, let's say you are only working at architectural side, then of course you may deselect those, but um, better to have all, because all are included inside the main package. And you can later on just reconfigure your user interface, so that you don't get lost. I can select project path, I leave it as default, I hit Autodesk Revit 2018 with my left key again, I may get the warning again, I hit OK. Now I'm going to Autodesk Revit content libraries because Autodesk Revit is mainly component based software package. It means that it will need some content libraries. So I hit OK again and uh, now we can see a problem in terms of why I get the warnings that my hard drive may get full. Yeah? Of course it will because each and every content pack is currently selected. So based on my current region or projects or partners with whom I want to collaborate, I select different content packs. I can, for example, do a right click on this English and then deselect everything with a left key. Now I can start to pick only those content packs that I really need to have. And please pay attention to that at any time, later on, you can install some additional content packs. So don't worry if you don't select something at the first moment. I select, for example, only US metric, right click other English, and again, just left click to deselect all those. I will double check that no additional content packs are selected. Of course, if I do need those, I select those. I then scroll down a bit. If I install multiple content packs, I can select which one is a default one, because I selected only one. I have a one choice here. I also leave each and every path as it is, meaning that I now hit Revit content libraries again with the left key. Now I don't get the warning anymore because my installation requirements has been greatly reduced and altogether I need to have 30 gigabytes of free space. I'm usually also interested about Autodesk Material Library 2018 to be able to see some additional materials 
with different quality and it leaves me just to check if my installation path is correct. I install the default location, C drive, program files and autodesk. I can now hit install button and from this point forward my real installation starts. And it's not just about Autodesk Revit 2018, but different components that are also needed will be installed. For example, some Windows components are also installed. Altogether, depending on your selections, of course, you may see a number that is equal to or different from this one, 21. And if the first number gets to zero, it means that everything is installed and hopefully also successfully installed. Because I'm using web install, it means that I do need to have a good internet connection during installation as well. As you see, before any component will be installed, it will be first downloaded. And altogether, because I selected only one content pack, I do need about 4.5 gigabytes to be downloaded. So let's just wait when the installation is finished. Once installation is finished, you can actually check if all components are really successfully installed. And you can check that based on this green check mark. In current case, I can see that each and every component is successfully installed. And it means that I can launch my Autodesk Revit 2018 directly from Launch Now button. But of course, I can do that from my desktop icon. In here, I also do have Revit 2018. Therefore, I simply close this installation window and double click on Revit 2018. So my Autodesk Revit 2018 launches first time. Because I downloaded a trial version, I should see a following screen that also tells me how many days are left of my trial. You are safe to activate your Autodesk Revit license at any time, so it doesn't mean that you have to reinstall Autodesk Revit, but you can simply activate it. Right now, I just close my notification. You can see a default screen of Autodesk Revit 2018 and it pretty much it looks the same as in previous versions, at least in 2017. If I want to start a new project, I can quickly go to my projects area and hit new button. I can then select a template file, for example, depending on my profile or discipline, I can select architecture or structure or mechanical template or maybe construction template. In my case, I pick mechanical template. I want to create a new project and I hit OK. I get a new empty project in where I can start a new design. In Autodesk Revit, you may open several projects at once. I simply use this close button right hand side corner. I'm also able to see what it looks like to have a project in Autodesk Revit, meaning that I have some sample projects like architecture, structure and also MEP. If I click on sample architecture project, this project will be open from a start screen and I can quickly navigate all other project sheets or project views from a project browser. Actually, in Autodesk Revit, there are two main areas when you want to get information about your project properties and project browser. I close also this project and if you want to learn more, there are plenty of videos from where you can study how to use Autodesk Revit 2018. You also have a separate link, what's new, and it will describe all main features depending on discipline, what are new, what are improved features in Autodesk Revit 2018. So by that, I will end this video and see you in my next videos. Bye bye.